We are here with Roman Messner from the ORF at the IFTA Fiat Conference 2015. Can you just give us a short overview about your speech? Yes, I would like to talk to you that uh, I was, was trying to get back in the history of quality control, show how we migrated from the tape workflow to the file workflow and how quality control, quality monitoring changed over time. Can you tell us a little bit more why um, QC is so important in broadcasting? Yeah, QC is definitely not the first thought, but if you come, have to do with thousands of files, 100,000 of files, especially in terms of migration concepts, but also in, if you consider that you get files from all over the world, then you have to think about, can I play out the files? in the future, in 10 years, 20 years, and so on. And the problem is actually you can't do it now. You cannot play out every file that is ingested with our play out systems. And so this is important to get an idea, to see the amount of problems and the, the location of problems so that you can interfere and set the right actions. Can you tell us about the project the ORF did together with the um, Cube Tech? We had the idea uh, that there is lots of um, work to do, lots of spaces, lots of uh, action with one or two people. So this this wouldn't uh, get through. We couldn't uh, capture. We couldn't we couldn't uh, do the whole analysis and the the whole uh, planning of the quality management. So. Uh, Jörg Huppert was, talling, was telling to me why not putting uh, an equipment into the ORF campus or at least at the provider which happened then. So and this equipment there did the analysis, did a uh, local analysis. Not, we did not want to transfer and to give away our own material uh, and transport it through Europe to and fro and this is uh, hundreds of gigabytes and, and more and it's uh, essential material it's, it's archive material and expensive ones and we cannot we would not like to to put this everywhere and so we have established we have founded the, this, this possibility to do a local check but with influence with with interference from the company of CubeTech with remote uh, remotely ingesting with remotely uh, controlling and this is not the end, but we are thinking about doing much more, uh, doing a, um, um, to prevent problems in also in the future, to foresee problems that are going on. This is one of the most interesting actions that are coming with this project. Uh, Mr. Messner, what will audiovisual media archives look like in 2020? <laughs> yeah, I think the most uh, the biggest difference will be the, the physical storages. Nowadays we have LTO tapes, which means you have a very slow but very secure uh, carrier for the data. But what you want is to get each of the files immediately. You have a quick response time, you want uh, access to the 70s, to, to um, World War clips in zero time, not only near life, but, but life. <laughs> and this on, can only happen with uh, very, very uh, quick storages. And this cannot be tape-based, robotics-based uh, uh, machines. So the archive of 2020 would be, yeah, 2020 probably a little bit later, would be much smaller and the access would be much quicker. Don't ask me about the price, no idea. Thank you.